play in October. So step one has been accomplished. They're going to be in the playoffs. They don't know whether they're going to be wild card number one, number two, or number three. What a three-game series. What intensity. The Padres lost two of three at Dodger Stadium. Each of the games drew 52,000 fans. We had the triple play in the ninth inning of the first game that gave the Padres the win, and it clinched the playoff spot. John, I've been in broadcasting forever. I broadcast baseball, minor league baseball. I've watched baseball. I grew up in a baseball family. I've never seen a triple play, not in person and not on my TV and I looked up and said, wow, what Machado to Cronenworth on to Solano at first base, what they did at triple play, that was unbelievable. Then, of course, it was offset by what happened in game two of the series with the Dodgers rally back. Thank you, Otani. And what happened in game three with the Dodgers just kind of flex their muscles and knock the ball all over the yard. That being said, it's been a pretty impressive run by the Padres. They're going to finish up in Arizona. Can't hit a speed bump here. You don't want to lose home field advantage. You have to finish first in the wild card to get home field advantage for the first round. And they don't know who the hell they're going to play because the hurricane on the East Coast has dismantled the entire schedule. That's right. You got you got the Mets who got rained out two in a row in Atlanta. Now the, the Mets are on the road in Milwaukee and have to go back and play a doubleheader in Atlanta on Monday. And you got Kansas City in Atlanta. And it was still raining byproduct of the hurricane in Atlanta earlier today. Hmm. I mean, it's a baseball baseball got a real mess on its hands right now, and they don't want to move, and they can't move games at this late date on 15 minutes notice. You can't move to a neutral field in some other market in the country. But to me, the most important thing is the Padres have to finish first because otherwise you go on the road for the best of three wild card round, and then you're going to be on the road to start the second round. Second round would be either probably in Philly or at Dodger Stadium. So I thought I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I mean, you got to love it. What, three playoffs in the last five years? I mean, that's an accomplishment. Everyone's still, you know, we're like about a few months ago, we were all calling for A.J. Preller's head, and now they're in the playoffs. So I think maybe he'll get an extension. The triple play was magical. I mean, uh, storybook ending, couldn't write it any better. In fact, last couple of days, I saw a few Dodger fans, and they, they kind of rolled their eyes. It was almost like it was too perfect of a way to end the game and to clinch a playoff. But I remember 10 years ago, the Padres bunted into a triple play against the Dodgers. Yeah. And it was like, it was confusion. We weren't sure if the bunt was fair or foul. It turned out to be fair, and they just went around the horn like easy peasy, and we got a triple play. Usually you don't see triple plays on the ground. They're triple plays, Genesis, Genesis, Genesis being a line drive, hit and run, and guys are caught off base because everybody was moving when the ball was hit. This, they earned that triple play. Machado's grabbed it. Backpedaled three steps, tagged the bag. Think about that gymnastic. Mm -hmm. Rifled the throw to Cronenworth. Crony had to hit the bag, drop back, and to throw over their base runner. And he was accurate, and he got it there. I mean, you talk about checking off all the boxes about earning it. They earned it. Yeah, and the way that Machado, when he tagged the base, he almost sort of pushed off mm -hmm. to kind of get more, you know, um, velocity on that throw to second. So it was it was wonderful. And then you see the background, the fans there, the Dodger fans have their hands <laughs> over their face. They're like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. I think John Boy did a breakdown on Twitter on one of his videos showing all that. It was fantastic. Now, yeah, the, it would have been nice for the Padres to sweep up in L.A., but, you know, that's a lot to ask. They're in the playoffs. Once you, it's just like you got to get in the tournament. It kind of reminds me of uh, the former GM of the Chargers. He's just got to get in. Here we go. Padres, we'll see. Obviously, we'll know by Sunday night. Just don't give any ground. Arizona's desperate. Arizona's got pitching problems. Arizona, though, I'll tell you what, John, you look at their batting order, God, they can tee off and hit home runs with what they've got since the trading deadline, and they got all their injured guys back, but they're in desperate straits, too. So waiting to see what the Padres do in Arizona. Let's talk about the.